What is up guys, Bachman's Garage back at you again with another video. Today we're going to be discussing trucks. More and specifically, we're going to be uh, discussing my 1998 Toyota Tacoma off-road SR5. This has the 2.7 liter 4-cylinder 3RZ FE engine with the 5-speed manual, 4-wheel drive. Uh, this model has the clutch start cancel and a automatic locking diff I believe or it's like a push button or whatever I've never had to use either of them uh, it comes stock with 31 10 50 15s um, I currently have just started working on it so we have the bed off of it the bed is sitting over there that is an engine for this truck but the stock engine is currently inside of this truck has stock wheels, Firestone Destination all-terrain tires. They are basically worn out. All four of them will be replaced. Here's the spare and the spare support arms and the crank, the Reese towing hitch, and that is a bucket full of rust and bolts. But we'll get into that here in a minute. It is a manual crank window. It has an aftermarket radio but the radio is junk this is an LED light controller for the underglow I don't understand why it's on this truck all it does is destroy the uh, battery basically just drains the battery here's what I meant by the clutch start cancel if you push that button and have it in neutral you do not need to push the clutch in to start it and if I'm not mistaken it has something to do with uh, you might even be able to do it in gear. I, I've never really read the manual. I've never looked into it. I, I'm not sure. And then there's your rear diff lock down there. Like I said, I've never needed to use it. Uh, you have your light controller for the dash and I believe your clock and your airbag switch, your four-way. Uh, heat and AC both work very well in this truck. You can see it's a five-speed manual. Four-wheel drive is also the manual. Um, E-brake is down there. This truck is just going to be going over um, and redone the way that I want it. More or less because it is rusty. It is a little crusty. You can see. Um, the back flares on the windows were broken, so I ripped them off. The front ones are still okay, but they're brittle, so they're going to be replaced. But they're okay enough for now. Um... There's almost zero rust on the actual body of the truck. There is very, very little rust on the bed. Underneath where the flares were. Um, I didn't rip off the other side, so I'm sure there's going to be a little rust under there. The bumper was absolutely trashed. The cross member in the rear is absolutely trashed. The other cross member above the gas tank is pretty well trashed. We have a little spot on the tailgate there. The tailgate itself will be replaced. Uh, they're cheap enough. You can get them basically everywhere. So tailgate's no big deal. Like I said, I didn't get this flare ripped off. But you can see there's really not a whole lot of rust issues on the actual body itself. These trucks are notorious for having rust issues on the frames. As you can see, the small one here um yeah a lot of the mounts are fairly rusty but they're like still fairly stout like they don't move around or nothing but yeah this was an old patch that i did i don't like it at all i think it's some sort of high carbon steel it didn't weld worth a shit so i'm probably gonna end up having to cut that out and redo that you can see that this cross member here the scaling is so thick and it's all rotted out in here these, uh, yeah, spring mounts, they're rusted to hell. Everything's pretty well rusty. Behind the tank, apparently, is a very large hole, is what my dad said. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be fixing the whole back half of the frame. I'm going to be welding in box tubing instead of the stock cross member for the spare tire mount. I'm going to X-brace the frame, I think. But yeah. I'm gonna go like almost barbaric overkill with the fabrication on this, so. But 
it's a little overview of what I'm going to be doing to my truck. I can finally work on it because we got Max's Crown Vic out of the way. This is a spare motor. I have another spare motor that I'm going to be building to a 3.04 cylinder instead of the 2.7 liter. And uh, hopefully in the future I plan on supercharging it. So um, I'll give you more details on the truck then. But that's my 98 Toyota Tacoma off-road SR5. Has the access cab. You know, it's fairly clean on the inside. No rust on the body. Rust on the frame. But uh, I'll get more in depth with that. Haven't made a video lately, so I figured why not make one of my truck. Thanks, guys. Get back to you soon.